If you do enjoy this video, please drop a like, it would really help me out, and if you are new here, please consider unsubscribing, because that would also help me out too. And without further ado, let's start the video. Right, hello, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another episode of Heroic Hernandez, and welcome to a post-con video, something I haven't done for a very, very long time. Uh, unfortunately, I had builders round on the day of recording the rewards, and I think I needed to record them before Future Stars went, because they were going in, I'm pretty sure, a few hours. But as you can see, Silver One, as usual, and a Red Pick Malang Sar to go with our rewards, which uh, is a pretty good super sub. I'm pretty sure 83 shooting and 98 pace is pretty incredible. Uh, but we'll just start opening the packs. I haven't actually seen this recording for quite a while, so... Uh, I'll just commentate through the packs. Uh, we get just a rare on this one, but obviously I'm going to start trying to skip rares a lot more now. Uh, just discard untradeable people instead of keep on flicking through them because it's just way more time consuming. Like in this pack, I do apologize. Uh, but we'll keep on. I think for this episode, will be like one of the last episodes that we actually start doing this flick down thing because. We don't need as much coins anymore, we're creeping towards the end of FIFA, which means we are creeping closer to that prime moment, Hernandez. As you can see in this pack we get a board, we get a Mexican, a right wing from the MLS, and it is Carlos Vea, uh, which is a very good uh, card for SBC fodder, and also a very good card for MLS teams. Vela is doing in exceptional in the MLS and I'm pretty sure he will be in quite a few past and presents going forward like the Mexican past and present at the end of Heroic Hernandez but we'll move on to our I think this is our third jumbo premium gold we get once again another board and it is an informed board it is a Frenchman a striker from I completely forgot the club but it is Gomez which is uh, once again brilliant for SBCs obviously a high rated inform 83 rated just off a walkout which is usually what you don't see you usually get a 76 or an 84 plus uh, but we'll send all of them down and then we'll move on to our second final jumbo premium goal pack is it going to be anything good it's just going to be a rare which is expected from the jumbo premium goal packs obviously they're not the best packs in themselves we'll either give you an absolute corker of a player where you just get a walkout and get like a Messi or a Ronaldo or you just constantly get rares and uh, that is sort of what's looking to happen here can we get something else in our final jumbo premium gold pack we could not just a rare once again and hopefully it is now moving on to some better packs I'm pretty sure we've got the marquee matchup packs so we'll send oh, a few of them up I'm pretty sure prices went quite high in the uh, in the market recently because of all the league SBCs going very soon so everyone's prices shot up like mad and then looks like we're opening an SBC pack but once again just a rare oh it must have been a 75 plus rated pack sorry and then we'll scroll through to the mega packs Hopefully we can get a few boards and a bit of fodder from the mega packs. That's all, all I expect from megas. Just give us boards, and on the odd occasion, give us a walkout. Unfortunately, we don't get anything here, but we do get an 81 Fabianski. So we'll send him to the club. Is there anything valuable behind him? There is not. Send all of them across, and then we'll go on to our second mega pack. As I said. Hopefully we get a board, mega packs off 35k, so if you're not getting a board in a 35k pack, as a poor do, but we do get a board here. We get a Portuguese right mid from Saint Benfica, we get Pizzi, I was almost about to say Rafa, but Rafa plays on the left wing, and Pizzi plays on the right. And a Jimenez. A very good pack indeed 284s you cannot complain with that that is fodder fc and for the final mega pack is it going to be a walkout is it going to be a board it's going to be once again another board it's going to be another portuguese player another right mid and once again we get pizzy so well i think that means he is untradeable i might be wrong 
hopefully I am because that would be pretty nice if it is tradable it is tradable and we get a deco and a higuain as well so we can just send pizzy up send everyone else up and just move the manager and the badge down and i think i'm going to save the two 50ks to move on to the marquee matchups because i probably uh, did the recording for the foot champs and the rivals in the morning and obviously marquee matchups come out at 6 p.m on the thursday so we've done the marquee matchups and in the first rare gold pack, we just get a rare. Is it going to be a good rare or is it going to be a stinker? It's going to be a David Luiz, very 50-50. Obviously, not in the best form for Arsenal. Used to be a brilliant centre-back for things like PSG. Obviously, Chelsea was a really good centre-back. He's done all right at Arsenal. Not the best, not the worst. And then our next pack gives us absolutely nothing not even a rare that is not what you want to see in any pack at this day and age of fifa we'll send him down get our 300 coins back from that and then we'll go on to our rare electrums players pack can we get anyone good we can get just a rare once again hopefully it's just saving all of our uh, little pack look towards the end on the 50ks because 50k's, it's okay to get boards, but usually you either want high end boards or low end walkouts. So go for the, I think, rare, yep, the rare gold pack before moving on to the mega pack, which uh, is what you get for doing all of the marquee matchups. We get a board from the rare gold pack, and we get, is it Pjanic? It is Pjanic. Someone who I haven't seen much of in Barcelona. He, he might be doing really well. I don't really watch much of the La Liga. But uh, I know it was a straight swap deal for him and Arthur. Which destroyed, destroyed all of the Barca fans. Arthur was a very loved player at Barcelona. But Pjanic is there to take his place. Now we'll move on to the Mega Pack. We get a board. We get a Portuguese. We get another right mid and we get pizzy for the third time this episode and i'm not i do not think this mega pack is tradable if it is then we have three pizzies stored which would be nice and a rafa which is good so we get rafa pizzy and i'm pretty sure sergio roberto was there as well so very good strong links and we'll send rojo down the man that keeps on coming back to haunt me in every ultimate pack i open and then i think we're just on yeah just on a normal gold pack by the looks of it from the non-rare send them across and send them two down and then we're on to our final two rare player packs as i said i expect high-end boards or low-end walkouts if i get any high-end walkouts obviously i'll take it but we get a combo libertadores the cards i hate the most in fifa i don't even mind the ucl anymore because i've found a huge hatred for combo at least it did hide an oh -na, na and i'm pretty sure another 83 it was there as well so can't be too mad but i would much prefer a board to walk out like this then a combo Libertadores player to show up. But we get a Spanish board, a Spanish right back board from Seville. We get Jesus Navas, who is an incredible right back. Got a Team of the Year nominee. Uh, but I do believe that is all for this pack opening, which means all we have to do now is complete flashback Cristiano Ronaldo. And here we go. The cheapest squad for Ronaldo is complete. Only 80 rated with one Team of the Week player. Not really sure why EA actually added this SBC. There's actually no real purpose to it. But uh, as you can be surprised, with a really bad SBC comes a really bad pack. As we just get a rare in this one. We get a Cam and we get a Spanish Jonathan Vieira. A man I pack uh, most... Uh, as you can see he's a uh, duplicate here he gets packed quite a lot on this channel but we'll move on to the second sbc and there we go the second squad completed for cristiano ronaldo an 86 rated squad which is, is the most expensive but um it didn't cost 
that much coins surprisingly so we'll open the pack see if we can get anyone good because sometimes sbc packs can give you some really good stuff unfortunately nothing in this one but we are now one more sbc away from completing that flashback cristiano ronaldo sbc and there we go, the final squad for Cristiano Ronaldo is complete. Nothing too expensive, only an 84 rated squad. So a few 83s, few 84s and a uh, team of the week pairing. So as I said, nothing expensive at all. But that means that we do have flashback Cristiano Ronaldo. Obviously a card that was set all the way back to when he first started playing for Man United. I think he was like 18, maybe 17 year, uh, years old. But still incredible card for what EA has set him as. I think it was 86, 85 and 84 for an 87 flashback Cristiano Ronaldo with a bit better pace than his normal card. Uh, there's no chance he has 79 shooting in game. I can guarantee that almost acts like 90 shooting. 86 dribbling, obviously really good as well as five star skill moves and high low work rates. So we'll send him to the club and open the final pack that we got for that little SBC at the end, the 84 rated squad. Hopefully it will be something good. It's a prime electronics players pack, so usually you get boards out of these. And we do get a board and we get a Portuguese linking with Ronaldo, but obviously if it's a Portuguese, it's most likely gonna play for Wolves and it's Jao Montinho. But that will be it for the end of the episode. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you boys in the next one. Goodbye.